Hi, this is the Bet Central podcast. Let's make some profits. Welcome to the Bet Central podcast, powered by Betcoza. I am your host, Juanile Fuswayo, and as always, I'm joined by UFC experts Asha Arens. On today's podcast, we're previewing the much-anticipated and eagerly awaited UFC 289 co-main event between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Benil Dariush. Um, it's a fight of epic proportions with title implications, and I'm sure it's going to be a banger. Um, yeah, it's good to have you back on the podcast, Asher. How are you doing today, bro? Monele, very good. happy to be back and happy to be doing a preview of Charles de Oliveira versus Benil Dariush. Of course, I think everyone knows that Charles de Oliveira is my favorite fighter. And, um, you know, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I, I can't lie. Um, Benil Dariush is a massive task ahead. But, you know, very, very excited, very, um, you know, I don't know what, how to call it. You know, Charles has to win this fight, but, but we'll get more into that. Yeah, we definitely will. Uh, we don't usually do this. We would just preview one fight. We usually have for the entire main card. We also have that um, betting preview in the following podcast. But this, um, I think, feel like this fight deserves our, our attention just for us to focus on it. Um, yeah, I think uh, we can get started. Charles Oliveira versus Benil Dariush. Charles is ranked number one in the lightweight division. Benil Dariush is fourth. I feel like he should be higher. Um, yeah, Benil did mention that if he gets the win over Charles um, this weekend, that the UFC did promise him a title shot, which both you and I agree is long, way long overdue. So, yeah, man. How do you how do you feel about this, this fight? I mean... Uh, Dariush is on an 8-5 win streak. Charles recently, not recently, but his recent fight, he lost against Islam Makachev, um, UFC 280. Yeah, what, what, how do you view this fight? Where do you see it being won and lost? Well, I think there's um, common agreement in the lightweight division that if Benio wins, that he will get the title shot. I heard Justin, uh, Dustin Poirier and um, Justin Gaethje even admit to that. So they, they definitely think that he deserves the title shot if he beats Charles. And um, th- there's a very big chance that he can beat Charles. It, it just depends how Charles um, shows up. I don't think that his injury for the cancelled bout was that severe. Uh, I think it could have been a minor injury, but I think he wanted to be fully prepared for this fight. And leading up to it, uh, you know, I'm looking at his social media and stuff. He looks very prepared. Uh, Benio, on the other hand, looks very calm, you know, very relaxed. Um, Charles looks a bit nervous. Um Similar similar vibes to the Islam fight, very nervous. But I think he I think he's he always admits to that he is a, a nervous fighter, and um, you know it's very hard to call. It's very hard to call. We can't. Charles Oliveira was a great champion. He's he's got that belt wrapped around his waist two times. You know, of course he missed weight by point point five pounds, and but then he still beat um, Justin Gaethje. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's. I think Charles is still much better than Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje, um, but this is a massive test f- for for Charles. Um, we saw Benil's grappling game. He's very strong. He's a very big lightweight. Um, I don't know how Charles is gonna gonna deal with that. I I think Benil Dariush is the person to beat Islam Makachev. The person who can. Um, it, it remains to be seen. It really remains to be seen because. Benil Darius's takedown defense is one of a kind. And can Charles knock him out? That's the big question. Um, I'm actually glad that you mentioned Darius's size because I was watching his fight against Matthias Gamrod and he looked pretty big um, for a lightweight. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be an interesting fight. Um, Charles, for, for, I think for his standards or by his standards, he, he's usually an active fighter but he hasn't been inside the octagon for quite a while now. Do you think that's a, a good thing? It's a positive or a negative? And do you think he's made the necessary adjustments for, for this kind of fight? Yeah, I mean, we can say he's been been inactive, but he's been pretty active uh, in the same at the same time, you know. Um, I know he's been, he's been injured, but then he was a great champion, you know, very great champion. He beat Michael Chandler. After Michael Chandler, he fought Justin Gaethje. No, he fought Dustin Poirier. How did it go? What happened? Chandler, um, Poirier, Gaethje? Yeah, it was it was Chandler, Poirier, Gaethje. Yeah, correct. Chandler, Poirier, Gaethje. And close fights, you know. Charles looked like he could have lost both all three of those fights. 
but that's the exciting nature of him. And I don't know, you know, Wanela, I really think there was something weird going on there in Abu Dhabi. And I don't like Charles to fight there. So regardless, if Charles beats Dariush, he fights Islam at, at you know, in Abu Dhabi. And it's, it's just the same thing again. It's just so unfair. Um, and it's mainly because the UFC, they need that region. They need that um, Dubai, Middle East, um, Abu Dhabi, Russian region, because all those fighters can come in from uh, that part of Eastern Europe and uh, the greater parts of Asia. So they need Islam Akshif. They don't have Khabib anymore. But Charles also has Brazil. And I don't think the UFC really like going to Brazil. But he's a superstar. I mean, Charles got Charles Charles has, you know, over six point four million followers on Instagram. But Neil Darius just under two hundred thousand. Charles is a star. And uh yeah, I don't know. It's it's so nerve wracking to call because I but Neil Darius deserves it more than anyone. Um, but at the same time, I'd really like to see Charles champion again. Yeah, I do agree with you. Um, when you talk about Charles fighting Islam in Abu Dhabi again, um, I, I personally would love to see if Charles win, I would love to see the rematch, but like you said, not in Abu Dhabi, it's, it's not fair and you don't really want to see it again because home advantage, I feel like it is a thing sometimes in the UFC. So if Charles wins, you'll probably see the winner of Dustin Poirier versus Justin Gagey. I think that would make a lot of sense, like to fight Islam in Abu Dhabi. And then probably Charles fights the winner of that fight. So I think right. maybe that would make sense because I don't want to see Charles fight Islam in Abu Dhabi, you know. Yeah. So I agree with you um, when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, looking at this fight, I feel like these two guys are kind of similar in a way. But Charles, we all know Charles, he's his fighting style. He just goes forward. He he fights fire with fire. But Neil is a bit more, I want to say maybe smarter, um, let's say with his striking, maybe patient, more patient than Charles Oliveira. So who do you think will have the advantage on the feet if, let's say, it is to be a stand-up fight for three rounds? But Neil Darius throws bombs too. Um, yeah, yeah. But but Gaethje, Gaethje said that, you know, when Charles hit him with that left, he's never felt that before. And Gaethje's got a chin and a half. So it's it's a it's it's an amazing battle. This is gonna be an amazing battle. Um I think it's gonna be better than the Islam Makachev and Charles Oliveira fight. Because of Benil, he's so dynamic, he can he can, you know, stop the takedown. He's got he's got a jujitsu game, he's got power in those arms. Uh, he's a much bigger um, lightweight, and uh, he, he's focused. He's you know supremely focused. I don't want to say this about my favorite fighter, but Charles does have a little bit of quit in him, um, and and we saw that with the Islam Akhachev fight. I I don't know what was going on with that, but he he has to overcome that 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 little bit of quit inside of him, you know. And I say that with the utmost respect. Um. To, to to beat Darius, he's got to really, really dig deep, like like he's never before. Um, yeah, apart from from that, like you said, he he does tend to quit sometimes. Um, what else do you think he needs to improve on, or like his game plan going into his fights? Maybe um, improve more when it comes to his wrestling, because I feel like Darius is a better wrestler even though I think Charles will have the advantage when it comes to um, jiu-jitsu, even though Benio does have a jiu-jitsu, he is a jiu-jitsu black belt. So I, th I feel like, I hope he has been working on his wrestling, but I think Benio has the advantage when it comes to wrestling. Because we saw, like you mentioned, his takedown defense is, is amazing. Right, so that wrestling, for any other fighter, if they weren't as skilled as, say, Islam or Benio, Charles will just probably find the submission quite easily. You know, against the likes of uh, Gaethje and Poria, um, I was not worried about any of them grappling with him because it was so dangerous. Charles would just find it. Um, but you know, with Islam and, and Darius, they're very heavy wrestlers. So, and Charles is very light. It's going to be very difficult for him to maneuver himself out of those um, exchanges and in those grappling affairs on the ground and uh, find that submission, which he can find and. You know, I'd love to see him sort of get on the back of Dariush if he could with um, the same way he did uh, Dustin Poirier. Um, but he's going to have to fight a lot smarter. 
you know, that Chandler first round was just too wild. One of the best rounds in UFC history. And Charles Luke Dunn comes out second round, knocks Chandler out. Amazing, right? And, and I, I think I have my money on Chandler versus Darius. That, that would be a great fight as well. It's just Darius is so mixed, he's so balanced. He's so technical. He deserves a title shot. And although it's my favorite fight of fighting, Darius deserves a title shot. And I think this is his moment. Yeah, man. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention, Darius does come into this fight as the favorite on Bitcoza, which I think is understandable. When, like, when you look at, like you mentioned, he is a well-rounded fighter. Um, so, yeah, I, I do understand Oliveira, as always. I mean, I think since the Chandler fight, he's been the underdog. Um, for most of his fights against Poirier, against Gagey, against Islam. Um, I think it comes down to his fighting style and the fact that he is uh, beatable. So, like, he's always knocked down in his fight. Even Islam, many people didn't rate his striking, managed to knock Charles knock Charles down. So, I understand why Darius is the favorite. Darius also has a fantastic ground game. His wrestling is good, takedown defense. Striking is, is, is good. Like you said, he has um, one punch power to knock him out. So there's a lot of ways Darius can win this fight. Um, and I think, for me, uh, I've said this to you before, on and off air, I feel like Darius is going to win this fight. And I think he gets the finish. And I'm sorry to say it. I, I, I love Charles Oliveira. I don't want to lie. I'm not a Charles Oliveira hater. I love watching him. I love his, the way he carries himself. Like He's just a stand-up guy. But I feel like it's it's Darius's time, man. This is the fight that will, that will I think will put him like he's he's a, like like you said he has two hundred k followers something like that. Yeah. So I think like this is the fight where he makes a statement, and it's Charles mm -hmm. Oliveira, man. Like it's the perfect guy for him to to make a statement. So I'm not sure you you said like it's a tough one to call. I'm not sure who you're leaning towards. Uh, yeah, but I'm going with Darius via submission or a knockout. You know, very, very reasonable call there, Vanelle. And, um, you know, we saw Islam struggle in um, Australia against Volkanovski. I just wanted to say that. I didn't get a chance to say that um, as to why I don't want Charles fighting Islam in Abu Dhabi should he get the victory. But uh, that's in the future. As for my call, you know, I, I do believe it's Darius's time. I think his time was yesterday already, last year already. He should have had a, a, a run at the title. So... It's an unfortunate turn of events that he, Charles and him have to fight. And, you know, if Darius beats Islam, maybe Gaethje beats Poirier. Imagine Darius versus Gaethje. Just, uh, but anyways, that's just futurology for now. I, I'm, I'm going to agree with you, and I think um, Darius is going to get a decision win. I think Charles is going to have a gr enough grit to, to go five rounds, but I think Darius edges over a decision. Um, you remember the last time we agreed on on a fight, it didn't go our way. So hopefully for, for you and many Charles Oliveira fans out there, um, you and I will be wrong. But yeah, man, I'm just kind of feeling like, um, I've been feeling like Benil Darush is going to get this done since the fight got announced. Um, and the more I watch him speak in interviews, like you see, like you mentioned, he's so calm. He's so confident. Um, he knows what he's about. He's game plan. So I think it's going to be a tough night for, for DuBronx, man, um, unfortunately. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. Any final thoughts when it comes to this fight? Yeah, you know, it's just Charles has to start well, stay focused, and execute a perfect game plan. Um, because, admittedly, even though it's one fight, there wasn't a clear game plan. Chandler, maybe Poirier, there was. Gaethje, you know, I thought Gaethje could have won that fight too. Um, but he surprises us. Charles surprises us. And, you know, we, we a lot of people rule him out. And that's why he's the, the underdog now, because we don't know his game plan. We saw Gaethje now, um, you know, just calming down a bit, focusing. I can see his game plan. We're seeing it with Poirier too. Um, just a well sort of refurbished tactical approach to the fight Charles it remains to be seen <laughs> even though he's been champion twice so he's got to stay focused because I, I promise you Benil's coming into that fight very focused 
Yeah, definitely, man. Um, just to, to confirm, I have um, Dariush winning by uh, KO, TKO, or submission, which is at 2.5. You have Dariush by decision, which is at 4.25. So um, there's value on both sides. Not sure which one is the safer bet. So I'll probably go, since it's, I think it's three rounds, maybe Charles could make it to three rounds. Maybe the decision win for Benil Dariush could be the safer bet. But yeah, man, um, we will do this again for the for the main card, UFC 289. Um, no disrespect to Amanda Nunes, um, the female coach. But this is the people's main event, Charles Oliveira versus Benil Dariush. Honestly, I cannot wait for this fight. Um, yeah, man, thanks for, for joining me again. Um, we'll chat again tomorrow. Thanks, brother. So good to chat with you. I really wish the fight was five rounds, but we'll, we'll talk more about the main card tomorrow. Cheers, bro.